boys and girls. Welcome to Faith Kids Junior. We are so excited to have you here with us today. Join us as we do our praise and worship, our lesson, and our puppet skit. Okay, Faith Kids Junior, let's get started. Cause the Bible tells me to I obey because I love God I obey cause I love my mom and dad I read my Bible Daffodil. Daffodil, where are you? Kids, can you help me find Daffodil? <gasps> Shh, I'm hiding. Why are you hiding? Well, I'm not sure, but it was a loud noise. A noise? What kind of noise? Not sure, but it was loud and it really scared me. <laughs> so that's why you hid in a, a bag? <laughs> yeah, I think you'll go back, so I might go back in the bag. Wait, wait. You know you don't need to go in a bag to feel safe, right? Yeah, but can you please hand me my bag? Okay, but before I hand you the bag, I'm gonna tell you a story. Oh, I love stories, but make it fast though, just in case the noise comes back. Well, in the Bible, this story is about a group of grown men who were scared. Did they hear a loud noise too? Well, I suppose they did, but they knew what it was. What was it? Well, it was only the biggest, strongest wind ever. So strong that it moved the waves of the sea. They were pretty scared. I bet they were so afraid. What did they do? They asked Jesus to help them. And you know what Jesus did? What? He helped them. And he took away their fear and they weren't scared anymore. You know, we can ask God to help us too. Wow, that is so great. Maybe I don't need a bag anymore. That's right. You don't, Daffodil. Bye, kids. 
Why you guys dress like that? It's raining outside. This is what protects us from the rain. That's right. We wear our rain boots to keep our feet safe from the muddy puddles. We wear our raincoat to keep our clothes protected from the wind and the rain. And we keep an umbrella so that it keeps the rain off of our heads. Just like we can be safe and protected from the storms outside, we can also be protected from the storms of life. Just as we wear these things to keep us covered, then the Word of God can cover our lives as well. There are many storms that the devil can try to bring against our lives. For instance, there's the storm of sickness. Nobody likes to be sick, and sickness always comes from Satan. God never wants us to be sick. And so when we feel sickness coming on our body, we can use the name of Jesus and we can use the word of God. We can say out of our mouths, 1 Peter 2.24, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Another thing that can come upon us is the storm of fear. Fear is from Satan. God does not want us to have a spirit of fear. In 2 Timothy 1.7, the Bible says we do not have a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. Did you know storms are dangerous and cause destruction? Storms like tornadoes and hurricanes are from the devil and not from God. But we can use the name of Jesus and get rid of these storms. These storms are not from God, but from the devil. That's right. Violent storms are never from God. Way back in the beginning, when God created Adam, he made Adam the ruler of this world. But when Adam sinned, he turned that authority over to the devil. And now Satan is the little G-O-D, the God of this world. But the Bible says that greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world. That means that Jesus is alive on the inside of me, and he is greater than the devil in this world. Yes, that's right. And there's an awesome story in the Bible in Mark 4, 35 through 41, which talks about Jesus stopping a storm with just three words. That's right. I love this Bible story. One night, the disciples were in the boat. Jesus had been preaching all day, and they wanted to cross the sea. But Jesus was tired. He went in the back of the boat and laid his head down on a pillow and fell asleep. That night, a violent storm came. The winds were pushing the boat back and forth. The waves were crashing up against the sides of the boat, and water started filling the boat. Yes, and the disciples were scared, and they woke Jesus up, and they said, Don't you care if we die? But Jesus was not afraid. He stood up, and he took authority over that storm. He knew that that violent storm did not come from his father, but that was Satan trying to kill him. So he stood up, and he said just three words, Peace, be still. And the sea stopped. And the winds stopped and everything was completely calm because Jesus has authority. Yes, and that's right. Jesus asked them why they were so afraid because they could have stopped the storm too. In Isaiah 41.10, fear not for I am with you. The disciples had the power to stop the storm as well. Yes, and Jesus is always with us. We don't ever have to be afraid. That's important to remember, especially right now. We do not have a spirit of fear, and Jesus is alive on the inside of us. His name is a strong and mighty tower. We have authority in the name of Jesus. And the word of God reminds us in Psalm 91.10 that we have protection against every evil thing. All right, boys and girls, if you have never invited Jesus Christ into your heart to be the Lord and Savior of your life, we would like to invite you to say this simple prayer with us. Close your eyes, bow your head, fold your hands, and say, Dear Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus to be the Lord and Savior of my life. Come into my heart, make me new. Wash me, cleanse me, and forgive me of my sins. I am a Christian. I am saved. Heaven is my home, and I will never turn back. In Jesus' name. 
Congratulations. If you said that simple prayer with us this morning, then you are a Christian and you are saved and heaven is your home. Congratulations, boys and girls. Miss Ashley and I sure have enjoyed this time with you. We miss you so much and we are so looking forward to the time where we get to be with you again.